Hey, what's going on everybody? Scudder Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2016. Uh, this is Sparta playthrough with Sparta Rotterdam. Now, uh, we are back. We're ready to take on Ajax in probably the biggest game of the season so far for us in terms of opposition. Um, we're going to have to be our absolute best to get anything out of this. Um, let's just have a little look here. We are um, we are at reasonable strength. The only players we're missing are Van Buren uh, and Sten Vorden has, has slotted into that spot. And then Ahmed uh, in the middle of the park. He has been replaced by Fito, who's moved into the middle, and Samari's out on the wing. Um, other than that, I think we're we're pretty much our first choice team. Um, so here we go. Let's all hope for the best here. Looks like we are at home, which is good news because our home record is far better than our away record. Uh, journalists think that uh, Ajax are going to win. I am inclined to agree to a point, but hey, you never know. So let's get started. Um, tell them we want to pick up where we left off and let's get going. It's a very green kit for Ajax. Ajax are an interesting team. They've got an amazing history. Um, they're renowned for bringing players through their their youth setups, um, but they over the years have, have turned into a selling club essentially. You know, they they develop those players and then move them on, make make money out of them. But um, ooh, you know, we we yet to see them come back to that dominance that they had once, and I don't know whether we will. Don't know. Uh, I don't know the reasons for that. Um, it'd be nice to see them. You know, get back into into a position where they're constantly doing well in in Europe. You know, I know they get into the Champions League, obviously, um, but it'd be nice to see them get get to the latter stages of that and uh, and see see them try and push on rather than keep that mentality of of selling players. But it's nil nil at half time. You know what? Nil nil would absolutely take. Sorensen is very, very tired in the middle there. One thing I didn't check is that we had a defender on the bench. We have. We're going to make that change. I haven't really got a lot else. Let's get... Megan Drake up top and take off Stockers. Just see if we can produce one moment of magic whilst keeping them shut out at the other end. That's what we're looking for. The goalkeeper had to go off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Straight, straight to their midfield. That's a hefty old clearance down the field, but we're not picking the ball up. And this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. They're in behind. There's the cross. There's the goal. That's thoroughly disappointing. Seventy seventh minute. And it was coming as soon as they got that ball out wide. Floranis couldn't get back in. Ketting didn't really drop in and cover. And there's the goal. Ah, oh, my lord. No, we don't mind conceding another in the pursuit of trying to to get something out of this. We haven't looked good. And we haven't got the ball in their half, I don't think. I don't recall us having any real chances. Last three minutes. Looks like this one is ending in a loss at home. Unless we can score in the last five seconds, we cannot. Hefty whole challenge in there from Neral, who was already on a yellow, but um, we were unlucky, I think. We didn't really do anything, that's my only concern here. As you can see, didn't really do a great deal. Okay. A 
Next up, we've got Heronveen. They are sitting in 11th place. Our slide down the table has has coincided with us coming up against the uh, the bigger teams, which is maybe expected. But as you can see, we're now down to to fifth place. We were hovering around at the top of the table there, and the gap is is becoming becoming huge. Um, but you know what? Anything anything above that relegation zone, I'm delighted with. Okay. Samari looks like he's developing well, which is good news. Uh, okay, next up, Heronveen at home. Um, be good if we can get back to a, a win against them. So we're now we're now approaching the halfway stage of the season. We're almost. I mean, we're obviously in December. We're almost at the uh, the winter break. Uh, what I'd really like you guys to do is leave me a comment. And let me know how you think this is going to finish. Where you think we're going to end up this season? Um, have we seen the best of our form and we're going to start sliding down the table? Are we going to keep um, keep eking out those results and keep where we are? Are we going to do better than what we've been doing? Let me know what you think. Um, Obviously, we're coming up to a transfer window as well. Let me know if you think there's areas that we need to improve. Um, tell us what you you think we need to do. Okay. We won't be telling you anything about Van Buren. And we will carry on. Here we go, everybody. Next up, we've got the cup. Okay, Ahmed is back out on the wing. Not at full fitness, but you know what? Let's swap them around a little bit. Let's make sure we've got someone who can play in the middle of the park. And we've got people who can play on the wings if we have to. We've got a spare striker on the bench. We've got a defender on the bench. I think we're good to go, you know. I wonder what his fitness is, because he's always tired. Hmm, stamina five, not great, my friend, not great. Okay, here we go, everybody. Need a win. Need a win. They are playing very narrow through the middle. We tend to have difficulty dealing with that, but we have to hope that our wingers can do a good job for us. Van Dronglen. Out to Fitto, back out to Van Drunglen, and they've picked it up, and here they come. And it's this sort of area where they can get passes off between our, our centre halves and behind our full backs is where we struggle. There's Stockers though, and there's a goal. Fitto out on the wing again. Good work. Two minutes in, we've got a lead. So, what we needed, we needed to uh, step up and find a Find a victory from somewhere and a good early goal helps that. I'm not sure about the goalkeeper's trousers. I'm going to be honest. No, I'm not sure about our goalkeeper's trousers. I'm tempted to sack him. Just wear some shorts, man. Right. And Drongland out to Fitto again. There's a the ball across. There's Stockers again. Those two combine again. Four minutes later, we've doubled our lead. Finding all sorts of space out on that wing. And finding a fair amount of space in the box, to be honest with you. Twenty minutes gone. Be nice if we could get a couple more. Really build some confidence. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, that was from our corner. What are you lot doing?
Okay, we're coming up to the last five minutes of this half. Okay, let's keep going, boys. Kyung Rock picks up a free kick. Stev Orden picks up a uh, a yellow. So 55 minutes gone. We haven't really done anything in the second half. It'd be nice to get some pressure on them. Uh oh, good save keeps. We're giving it straight back to them. I think that's where we suffer a little bit, not having a not having a real big man up top to be able to hold that ball up. Oh no, Van Dronglen's giving it away. They've put it wide, thankfully. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make three changes. Last five minutes of the game. Another yellow card. Last five seconds of the game. And there's the full time whistle and a win, we'll take it. We'll be very, very happy with that. Tell the boys we're pleased. Moves us back up into fifth place. Great news that. And say it just although we we look like we're doing very well and we are, I'm slightly concerned that this gap isn't isn't huge. It's, I mean it's a fair amount of points. Um but anyone goes on a run, we can potentially be sucked back into that, especially if we we lose all sorts of form. Um, right, we're going to call it the end of the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you. Oh,